and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ailey and today we're gonna do another beginner series. And yeah, so basically if you watched my last beginner's video, it was a normal sort of bog standard smoky eye, which is relatively easy to do because you can kind of do it quite messy and it doesn't really matter too much. So today what I think we're gonna do is a halo eye and basically that just takes the smoky eye and kicks it up a little notch. It gives it like a little bit of something different. So it is still relatively easy to do. It's not all that difficult. A lot of the time you do kind of start off with a smoky eye as a base. So I thought the smoky eye was a good one to start off with and now we can kind of move on and build from there. So if you want to see me walk you through the steps of how to create this look, then just keep watching. As always, if you enjoy this video, I would love if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so let's just jump straight into the video. I am using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I just find that this is my favourite method for priming my eyes. You can use concealer, you can use any other kind of eye primer you want. This is just the one that I'm using today. To apply my paint pot I'm just going to pick up the Morphe M224 and I just apply this with that. I'm using a really kind of small amount as well because I don't want too much product on my eyes and I use this just to tidy up my eyebrows if they need it as well. What I normally do is if I, I'm using a palette that doesn't have a shade that I can set that down with I'll just take a translucent powder. This one's from Laura Mercier. You know any any kind of powder, setting powder that you want really it doesn't really matter. All I'm doing is setting it down and leaving a smooth base. I think I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance palette today because I haven't used it in a wee while and I absolutely love this palette. I can't kind of see past it. So this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before and we're just going to work from here. I'm not going to get too hung up on what shades I'm using but you can look it up. I will say the shade names. You can look it up. This is what the palette looks like as I said and I mean you could google it if you wanted to know what shades I'm using but I will say the names of them. I'm just not gonna hold it up in point because we're, we're in quite a tight, tight frame just now. So I'm gonna start with Bon Fresco. I haven't used this in a while. And this is on this big M502 brush. Basically using a bigger brush like this will really just blow out the color. It'll make it really nice and soft and it'll just do a lot of your blending for you. But don't expect to get a massive, massive color payoff with this. I'm just buffing that above my crease. Now if you have hooded eyes this will be a great tutorial for you. If you don't have hooded eyes this will still work. You just have to place the shadows slightly different. You won't have to place your shadows quite so high if you don't have hooded eyes. Now obviously if you're going to work in the crease here would be your crease. Down here. Obviously this brush is rather big to be showing you that but this is my crease in here. If that makes any sense. Now my crease is hidden when I have my eyes open so my crease migrates up to here. Basically it is the socket of my eye. This might weird some people out but in here is like the top of my eyeball. That if you have hooded eyes is now your crease. Forget what all the other tutorials tell you with people who don't have hooded eyes because if they don't have hooded eyes they may not necessarily mention that. So your new crease is now a heck of a lot higher than your actual crease and it makes your life so much easier. When I look back on photos and things like that of when I did my makeup, you can never see my eye makeup and I would spend like half an hour on that eye makeup and for nobody to be able to see it, total waste of time. So now that I've done that, I'm going to grab the same shade on my Morphe R38 brush and in the exact same spot, I'm just going to run that through again. And I'm bringing this right in the inner corner exactly the same way I did the smoky eye. And then as there's less and less product on my brush I can blend upwards. Okay so I'm going to grab the R39 again, same brush. I mean technically you really could do this all with the same brush but if you are a beginner and you do have a big fluffy brush like this it does really help. You know, you don't have to worry too much about going too overboard. But I'm grabbing Warm Taupe now. I love this shade. And I'm just going to wiggle this in the outer corner for a wee second. And then I'm going to sort of slowly pull it in with circular motions. 
like I said, this is basically the same technique as the smoky eye. So I'm gonna grab a pencil brush and this is purely just to get into the inner corner and then I'm taking my M332 but any sort of clean brush will work for this and I'm just blending that out. I might grab a little bit of bone fresco just to blend out the edges. Basically what I wanted to do with these two shades is I really like the sort of purpliness to sort of go with my hair which is finally purple again and I really love warm taupe so I sort of mix them together to kind of create a little bit of a hybrid. Now we're going to make it into a halo eye. I'm just going to catch up with this eye and I'll be right back. Okay so now that the other eye is caught up I'm going to grab a little bit of concealer and pop it on the back of my hand. It really doesn't matter what concealer you use, use whatever you have. And I'm going to take the same brush that I used for my primer and just take a little bit of that concealer on the brush. It doesn't really matter if you haven't been avoiding the middle of your eye. As you can see with mine there's sort of a little bit of light right in the middle of each eye. If you haven't done that, it doesn't really matter. If you have sort of avoided that bit, it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea where you need to now do this step. But if you haven't, don't worry about it. Just look straight into the mirror and place, this is quite a good size as well, I find, but place this basically where your eye is. Just like that. I mean, it doesn't really have to be particularly neat just now but just get an idea of where it is. And then that's what I like about this brush is it's sort of the perfect shape. So then what you do is you just make a little dome shape, almost like mimicking your iris underneath your eyelid. What I always thought that it looked like was it sort of looks like when you're drawing a cartoon character, like Goofy or something like that and it looks like the eyes before you put the pupils on them. That's what it's always reminded me of. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's nothing kind of too, too technical about it. Well, the halo eye is because your shadow goes all the way kind of over and round. So it's like a halo around it. Your spotlight comes up a lot higher and tends to sort of kind of flare out a little bit whereas your halo eye tends to be more of a dot in the middle of your eye. Once you decide what colour it is that you want to use, I don't know what, I think I'll use Vermeer. Basically just place that in the little bit that you put the concealer. What to do is make sure that most of the product's off your brush and just Feather it out just a little bit. And then what you can do is you can grab a blending brush and sort of blend the edges slightly. Just like that. And I'm going to jump on and go on to the lower lash line now, but I'm going to grab just a little bit of Vermeer and pop that in my inner corners, just so that it all sort of coincides and matches up. We're going to move on to the lower lash line now. I'm going to grab Bon Fresco on the R39 brush and run this under my lower lash line. This is really hard for me to do on camera. You can if you want add winged liner, but I think I've said it in a previous video, if your eyes are as hooded as mine and they hood right out to the outer corner, eyeliner, eyeliner is a nightmare. And I just prefer not to do it because if I put liner on, you won't see my lid shade as much, so it takes away from that. So I only ever wear like a liner if I'm wearing lashes and you're not gonna see that anyway, or if I'm gonna be doing just a sort of very simple look with liner. So that's personal preference though, you can do that. I do have a winged liner tutorial on my channel though, so I will link it up in the top corner for you if you want to check that out. I'm just gonna grab a black eyeliner and tight line.
and that's a good trick if you don't want to wear liner or liquid liner. You can just run it in your waterline and then it will thicken up the look of your lashes. And then I'm going to do my lash trick. If you haven't seen my video on how to get really nice thick lashes, then I will link it for you as well. Go and check that out if you're not a massive fan of wearing falsies. Okay, so mascara is done and there you have it. That is one very easy way to do a halo eye. And your final result is kind of exactly what you see here. It is a very simplified way of doing it. Obviously it is a beginner's tutorial so if you are a beginner and you try it out I would love if you would let me know in the comments how you found it. Did you find this easy to follow? I tried to kind of slow it down as much as I can just to explain everything because after doing the I follow a so and so's tutorial it did occur to me that tutorials are really hard to follow. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, if you know a lot about makeup and you know what you're doing and stuff like that, it's re relatively easy. All right, okay, she puts that one there, she puts that one there, okay, that's fine. But if you're not really that clued up on why you're putting shadows there and if your eye shape's different, how do you recreate it then? It can get really quite difficult. So if you have hooded eyes and you wanted to try this out, I really hope that this helps kind of learning where to place the shadows, needing to place them higher and stuff like that. Yada, yada, yada. I could go on and on forever. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to help if, if it's like eyeshadow placement or colours or whatever. You could use it with warm colours, cool colours, you could use it with blues, pinks, purples, yellows, greens, anything that you wanted. So I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful and that if you didn't know how to do a halo eye before that you do now and I think that is pretty much it. So don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it or if you found it helpful at all and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any of my other beginner videos. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I post every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.